Hello, this is Mantra from Video Gamers, and this is the Guinevere boss fight. And that was the Guinevere boss fight. Now, after you kill her, you actually unlock a sort of secret boss fight with Gwendolyn, Dark Sun. And um, as you can see from this neat cinematic, Gwendolyn's kind of pissed off that you just went and shot Guinevere with an arrow. So you'll have to go out and kill him too. Otherwise, I presume he would come after you and kill you, but we'll never know because we go to kill him first. Uh, the sun goes out, which is a really cool effect, and also a lot of the monsters in this whole region will disappear. Now we just skip through all that, of course, to get to the boss fight, and um, here is another neat cinematic, you know, very close to the last one, where you get to see, you know, Gwendolyn kind of being pissed off again at you for killing Guinevere. Um, what you'll be seeing soon is the fact that this is, an, in fact, a very long hallway when you actually do the Gwendolyn fight. There is no real limit to it. There, you can see that occurring. And so what that means is that you're never going to reach the end and corner Gwendolyn. Gwendolyn will just keep teleporting away for forever until you kill him. Um, you'll notice my armor changed. That's because I died in the previous attempt. So, yeah. Um, Gwendolyn has three main forms of attack. Those balls that will go through the side pillars, so you just have to dodge and flip or roll out of the way. The arrow strikes, which don't go through the pillars, but aren't really that bad. As you can see, I can just dodge them by zigzagging in front of Gwendolyn. And uh, then right as you get near Gwendolyn, even before you even touch him, he will start to teleport. So you're going to want to just rush him as quickly as possible. Once you get past a certain point of no return, he will start to teleport, and you just have to sprint as quickly as possible towards him to get in some damage before he gets away from you. Um, what you haven't seen yet, but you will, is that Gwendolyn also fires, in addition to the big bolts of light and the arrows, these homing projectiles that I believe you're going to be seeing fairly soon here in the boss fight after maybe some of those arrows, maybe, maybe not. Uh, at any rate, those can be dodged and avoided by running behind the pillars, unlike uh, the giant bolt attack. However, Gwendolyn can and will shoot the giant bolt at you after shooting the little projectiles, and the big bolt may in fact reach you before the projectiles, so watch out for that, because you will have to dodge the big bolt, and doing so might leave you vulnerable to the projectiles. Like, you know, if that bolt had come a little bit faster, that would have been the same problem there. So, if you can dodge those three different attacks, you'll have no problem with Gwendolyn. It's advised to go two-handed on Gwendolyn, because you can dodge all of his attacks. There's no real need to try blocking any of them. You'll just take more damage than is necessary. Uh, Gwendolyn is a fairly easy boss fight. Uh, I had no real trouble with it. I believe this is the second attempt I ever made on it. So, there you go. Um, yeah, and once you kill Gwendolyn, Hall goes back to normal and you can go grab your loot at the end, which isn't fantastic, but you know, it's cool.